All right, guys, we're at Western Iowa Tech here today in our motorcycle and power sports division. we got some multiple uh, men here that are going to help us uh, demonstrate today how to install a Harley-Davidson Evolution crankshaft in a case without the special tool. The tool that's actually required is like this, where it's basically threads on the end of the crankshaft, and you will take and suck that crank into the crankshaft, uh, into the engine case, I'm sorry, bottoming it out. And we've got some tricks that we use. The reason we like to demonstrate this one is we can also use this on two strokes, on like your dirt bikes and four wheelers and whatnot. So we've kind of already preheated the case, but we're going to demonstrate everything that you need to do. So they're going to go ahead and heat up the case, uh, heat up the bearing. And what we're trying to do is get that bearing to about 250 degrees or so, and the crankshaft is just at room temperature. And then what we're going to do is move the heat gun. We're going to basically check the temperature. Let's try that. And like I said, we've been doing this for about five minutes. So it, it dropped quite a bit in a couple minutes of talk, and we're going to go ahead and keep heating this. One thing I want to show while we're doing that is we've got a real problem here. As we assemble these engine cases, and we're doing this as a demonstration of how you can get into trouble, is we've got all our parts laid out, our, our cases are cleaned and prepped and ready for silicone, but we have our crankshaft that we're going to slip in here. But on the Harley, it has this shim that needs to go in between the case and the crankshaft. This would be very easily forgotten if it's not with the appropriate parts. So one of the things that we recommend is don't ever have anything else on the bench. The only parts that should be on the bench are the cases and the bolts and the shim and then obviously the crankshaft itself so we don't get in any trouble. Once they get this a little bit hotter, what we've done is just take a little bit of grease and uh, we're going to get the red rag off here. And uh, we're going to we put a little grease on here. We're going to drop that down towards the bearing. We're going to kind of center it up with some screwdrivers. And the idea there is that that should pop in. We could put it on the crankshaft and try that way. Uh, that crankshaft's super, super clean here. We don't know if it's just going to fall and drop on us. It's just as easy to go ahead and set it on the case and not have a problem. But you do it either way. How are we doing on temp? We're good? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this down here. Well, that's hot. I don't want to touch anything here. I'm good. Now these men are going to grab this crankshaft. We want to get a good shot of this. We're going to get out of their way. They've got to do a couple of things. One guy's holding the pinion shaft. The other one's going to get the rods appropriate. If they drop this down in here, this thing should pop right straight in there. They're going to go real fast. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Boom. Okay. We're good and solid all the way down. Pay attention to this. If we hesitated for one second or we got caught or anything else, it would end up not seating and then we'd have a problem. We wouldn't be able to continue on. Another thing that you could do when you do something like this on dirt bikes and whatnot is go ahead and once you drop it down, hold some tension on there, wait for a few seconds. The heat from that bearing will absorb into the crankshaft and it's gonna, it's basically going to lock itself. Right now, we cannot pull this thing out of here. Does that make sense? It is good and seated in there. Now, I heard the audible drop or the click in here and life was good. I'm going to spin this around and make sure on the camera you can see what we were talking about here of the rods here. We did not want to have, the, uh, as he was lowering these, if these rods were together, we would have had a problem that it wouldn't have seated all the way. Make sense? So he was being very conscious about how he was doing this. You know, a couple of people and were able to do this without that special tool. So that's what we were demonstrating here today at Western Iowa Tech.